My name is Peffer, and I'm the galaxy's greatest and soon to be famous, and you can't teach that. And this right here is my buddy Nico. He's impregnable, and he was born in Philly, and you can't teach that. Bada boom, realest guys in the room. How you doing? I'm all right. <laughs> You're not familiar with the reference? That's an Enzo Amore reference. Watch NXT take over. Respect this Wednesday. Um, anyway, but we're not here to talk about NXT. We're here to talk about the NFL. And we're going to go straight into our Week 5 predictions. Um, and let's start with the Thursday game. Indianapolis will visit the Houston Texans. I'm taking Indy. Andrew Luck's coming back. T.Y. Hilton. We'll see. I am going to take the Houston Texans in an upset. I think Arian Foster is going to get on track, and he's going to be able to take down that Indy defense. I think it's going to be a. I think it's going to be surprisingly long day for Indianapolis. Cam's not playing. Carolina. Are they playing? No, Carolina's on a bye week. Yes. By the way, the bye weeks are Miami, Minnesota, uh, New York Jets, and Carolina Panthers. They are all on bye weeks. No. Cam. Oh, Cam Colvin, it's sexy as hell. Um, let's go to New Orleans at Philadelphia. This should be an interesting game. Our boy Hagi will be at this game, supporting his Eagles. Um, Taking New Orleans. I'm actually going to say... Don't bet on the Eagles. I'm going to say New Orleans. I, I, every, I've gotten every single Eagles pick this year wrong. When I pick them to win, they lose. When I pick them to lose, they Me win. <laughs> But you know what? I, I I just I just don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Philadelphia. I think New Orleans gonna get thick headed with this win possibly. I, I I don't I don't know. I'm I'm just picking Philly. I'll I'll probably regret it later too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh Chicago at Kansas City. I think Can Chicago, Chicago. Chicago picking up their first win against the Oakland Raiders. Chicago <laughs> No. Nah. But I'm taking Kansas. <laughs> I'm take I'm taking Kansas City. Small Charles. Uh, I mean, come on. They only lost because the Bengals are impregnable. They the, have the, the, bang, the, bang, they the Bengals have a two-headed monster. They they do have a two-headed monster in that backfield. I I'm, I'm going to take the Kansas City Chiefs getting back on track at home. I get I think Chicago is a perfect team to do it against. It's I, hard to play I'm in like, Arrowhead Stadium. It is very hard to play in Arrowhead. Um Seattle Seahawks at the Cincinnati Bengals. This is an interesting game, po a possible game of the week candidate, but uh, I'm going to... Chicago, Chicago. <laughs> oh, Arizona. I mean, what? Yeah, Seattle C at Cincinnati. Cincinnati. I'm taking Cincy. The two-headed monster will win. I've picked against Cincinnati three times in a row, and I've been wrong three times in a row. I don't think I could do it anymore. Not only that, Seattle barely got a win against Detroit. At home, so it was a tough game. It, it was it was a tough game. Lions Lions are actually a good zero and fourteen, but we're not talking about the Lions right now. I'm going to take the Cincinnati Bengals. I say they continue their excellence. I think there's too many problems with Seattle's offense right now. Mm -hmm. And Lynch is not playing. I don't think. Uh, I'm not sure about Lynch yet. They did all right without Lynch, from what I remember. <laughs> not if they score thirteen points. True. True that. <laughs> Uh, Washington, Atlanta, I think this is safe to call. Washington. I mean, Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, Washington. Now if, now, if Washington was playing Philly again, Washington. <laughs> but, no, they're playing Atlanta. Atlanta's just too good right we'll now. We'll be 5-0. and oh. I, I see Atlanta easily going to 5-0 and oh right now. Yep. Um, Jacksonville at Tampa Bay, 2 a battle Chicago, of two Chicago. Florida teams. I mean, Jacksonville, Jacksonville. A battle of two Florida teams like that those. have really, really, really been piss poor the last half of the decade. Heck, you can debate the whole, the whole decade. Past decade. <laughs> oh, no, because Jacksonville actually made a playoff appearance in the past decade, so Play believe it or not. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to take the Jaguars on the road in this game. Uh, Cleveland at Baltimore. This one should be... I think this is going to be a pretty fun game. Um, I'm taking the Browns. 
Manziel, Manziel. I noticed every time I picked the Ravens to win, they lose. And I want the Ravens to lose this game. So I'm picking the Ravens. Because <laughs> it's going to be a win-win situation for me. I'm taking Cleveland. I just feel like Cleveland's defense is going to outmatch Joe Flacco and his crappy offense. Oh, yeah. Fl- Fl- Flacco's going to throw at least two interceptions in this game. But uh, depending on who Cleveland start, they're going to throw at least an interception, too. Mm-hmm. Um, Buffalo at Tennessee. This is this one should be a good one. Uh, I'm going to say Buffalo gets back on track in this game. I think it's going to be a very close game. Even though the Titans are coming off the bye week. I'm taking Mariota because he's coming off the bye week. All right, I won't argue with that at all. St. Louis at Green Bay. I was considering picking St. Louis. Just because they beat good teams. And then they lose to teams that they have a good shot of beating. Yeah. So, I'm, and but even even though even though Green Bay is a great team, I think it's going to be a little too much for them at Lambeau. I, I do think Aaron Rodgers may throw an interception in this game for the first time in ages. At Lambeau, but I'm going to say the Packers will be able to take this one. I think Packers 24-3 final score. 24-3. to Ooh, you heard it here. Um, hard to play at Lambeau, too. It is very hard to play at Lambeau. Uh, Arizona at Detroit. You know, I just feel bad for Detroit. They should... Detroit, if you look at it, had a really hard schedule this year. They have had a hard-ass schedule this year. There's no wonder. They should at least... I mean, they're a better team to be 0-4. They should be at least 2-2. Let's let's look at all the teams they've played. They've played San Diego at San Diego. That's a... And that was just a heartbreaker for them. Mm -hmm. They lost at Minnesota. That's another tough one. They lost to Denver, which has the best defense in the league. And now they've lost to Seattle at Seattle, which is reasonable. They almost took it, too. Yeah. But, uh, I'm unfortunately for Detroit, I'm going to have to go to Arizona. I Arizona. Think they, zone. I think they bounce back, and their offense is just too good. Although their, uh, their defensive weakness has been exposed running to the left because Todd Gurley tore them up. So, uh, but we'll see what happens. But, uh, our, our picks are Arizona. Uh, New England at Dallas. Now, I find this a bit interesting because had the suspension stuck, Brady would be playing this game. And had he not gotten injured, Tony, to, uh, Tony Romo would be playing this game. But, Brady's not suspended, so he's able to play. Mm-hmm. And now Tony Romo's injured. So, the tables have kind of turned from what we all expected two months ago. But uh actually to tell you the truth, even if Brady was suspended at this moment, I would still would have taken the Patriots. And especially taking, with what's happening to Dallas. I'm right taking now. big old Patriots. <laughs> I, I, I I honestly don't like either of these teams, but yeah. uh but I'm definitely gonna pick this with my head and I'm gonna not say not big on Dallas. Really not. I'm gonna say no New England but... takes this game well, continues to go undefeated, no. especially because they're coming off the bye week. Mm-hmm. Dallas Another will lose their third straight, and because will... they're running backs out for the season now. Wait, what? He got a tour ACL. He's out for the no, season. No, no, that's their um, that's their linebacker. No, Sean Lee's out he, with a concussion. Yeah, but they have another linebacker that's out, he's... or or corner. But the running backs, he's out for the season. Which running back? What's what are they running back? Name? Joseph Randall. Um, Randall, is yeah. it Randall? Yeah. Oh wow. So he's got a. Well, that's just more problems yeah. for Dallas. Anyway, um, Denver at Oakland. Oakland came Oakland. off of a heartbreaker, <laughs> and uh, even though they're home, Dallas's defense is just too. Denver. It's too impregnable. It, it's impregnable. Denver. I I gotta go. I gotta go with Denver on this in this game. I think Peyton Manning will have a solid performance. Peyton! Uh, Let's ask Pap. Yeah, Pap. Peyton! Peyton. (laughs) So let's go on to the Sunday night football game. The San Francisco 49ers against the New York Giants. I don't know why this is a Sunday night game. Because 
Even as a Giants fan, I don't want to watch this game. <laughs> um, but I'll still probably watch it. I'm going to have to go with the Giants. And uh, my main reason is because Colin Kaepernick is falling apart as we speak. That that the, the 49ers team is just... Ugh, well, look at the Giants. Too cringeworthy. And the, we, Giant, the Giants are on track, you know... Now. People were even saying when they were 0-2 that this may be the best 0-2 team. And look, now they're 2-2. And And if you ask ask me right now, I'd say Giants are my favorite to win that division. So uh, I'm going to stick with the Giants, especially because they're at home. And what's the word on Victor Cruz? Out. He's out for this game too? Mm -hmm. Oh, but I I still think the Giants can get it done. We're doing fine without him. John yeah, you're Beeson's doing fine back, so he's a leader of our defense, one of our best mm-hmm. linebackers. So, you know, we can do it. And uh, <laughs> let's move on to the Monday Night Football game. My Pittsburgh Steelers will be on the road at San Diego. I'm taking San Diego. Phillip Rivers had a good good day on, on Sunday. Threw three touchdown passes, 356 yards, no interceptions. Mike Vick, we still don't know what he's capable of yet. He hasn't showed. He hasn't showed it yet. He's got three more games to prove he can still Two play. more games. Okay, two ben more Ben Roethlisberger games. will be back sooner than expected. He'll be back for the for week seven against the Chiefs. I'm picking the Steelers that game. <laughs> big Ben, Big Ben. <laughs> Martavis Bryant's coming back. And even though there was a heartbreaking loss, Scobie, I have faith in my team, and I'm nine. They should be five and zero. You slow. Five and zero. You slow. (laughs) I'm gonna take the Steelers in what could be upset of the week at San Diego. Not really an upset. San Diego's defense is playing like crap. (laughs) I'm gonna be totally honest. They put the Browns put up. Twenty points on them. I, I think I think I think I think Vic's, twenty-seven. I think Vic's them. gonna. Now I notice Antonio Brown has been struggling under Michael Vick. He for the first time in I don't know how long he had a game with less than fifty receiving yards. The really? first time, yeah, the first time in a long time that's happened for Antonio Brown, and he's pretty frustrated about it because Vic's a left lefty and he's used to Ben, who's a righty, so. But you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the Steelers pull this one. My pick off. could change. His pick could change. They they tend to change a lot. I did go eight and seven last week. He went twelve and three. And that's impressive. Cause I didn't change any picks, so I might not change. You did. You did change to New Orleans, but that was a good call. Well, uh, I I figured Breeze is back. Eighty yard touchdown in overtime. <laughs> Even though he threw it, not um, even ten feet. <laughs> all right. Uh, before we go, uh, let's talk a little bit about the playoffs. I know, I know, it's only week five, but you know what? Let me hear Pittsburgh. your favorites to win all the all the divisions. Pittsburgh, New England, Buffalo. No, New England. <laughs> New England's in that division. Yeah. <laughs> New England. <clears throat> Broncos. Uh, the South. The horrible, horrible South. Who's it going to be? Who's in the South? The Colts, Texans, Titans, and Jaguars. Titans. Titans! Ooh! <laughs> and NFC, who you got? Giants. Packers. Cardinals. Falcons. My picks are, I'm going to have to agree with the entire NFC. I do say Giants, Packers, Cardinals, and Falcons. And for the AFC, I'm going to go with the Patriots, the Broncos. I think the Colts will just squeak by. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to be, Steelers. If you want to be honest, Colts. <laughs> so we agree on everything. Mm-hmm. And my, my two wild cards in each division, or I'm sorry, each conferences, AFC wild cards, as of now, I'm going to take the Bills and the Chargers, 
And then for the NFC, my two wild cards will be the Seahawks and Cam. Oh, Cam. Colvin, sexy as hell. Wild cards? Um, you know, Buffalo. This AFC. Buffalo and Chargers. All right, you, you. We agree. Um, then NFC. I'm gonna go. You going with Cam though? Cam. I don't know who he's gonna play. Vikings. Vikings. Woo! All right. <laughs> and my current Super Bowl matchup: Arizona Cardinals. And even though I didn't have them in the playoffs at all, originally, the Denver Broncos, solely on their defense. AFC, Pittsburgh Steelers. My team. NFC, Arizona Cardinals. Mm-hmm. Rematch. Cardinals win. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I, I also have the Cardinals winning the Super Bowl as of now. Cardinals. We are running extremely late. We're going to end this right now so make sure you like subscribe i don't know where the buttons are anymore please leave comments we want to hear from you this you. is the galaxy's greatest speaking peace out brethren